Hey guys, thank you for the, all the love and support. Every subscriber counts. Every subscriber can make a difference. Help me, help you guys. We are the Foodie Fam. Let's subscribe to each other. Bam. Don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. I reply to all my messages. All of them, every single one. Morning fam, today we have a new exciting video. You know we do have a lot of outdoor cooking in my house. We don't do cooking, we don't cook inside my house. We prefer doing this outdoor cooking. So today we're gonna have something really special. We have some sweet corn and we're gonna make some ribs. My mom's marinating some ribs with some garlic, some onion, some dry chili paste that she made. Really yummy, we squeeze a few lemons and since you know we don't wanna waste the fire and the embers, we are we apply these this is a corn that's the corn we're gonna eat so we're just gonna put the corn there so the fire will be going off a waste so after the corn is cooking we're gonna put the ribs because right now they're marinating in the fridge so they have garlic dry chili paste onion secret spices that my mom made you'll check it out if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe I really want to appreciate it to all of you guys who have been subscribing to me being really supportive like I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately like this past week and I want to really appreciate you guys and hopefully you guys could be a part of my family and hopefully one day in the future we could all unite together and we could have a massive massive food porn gathering where we could all eat so many foods like I say food tastes way better if you share it with a loved one so if you guys like my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe check it out so this is the corn I was talking about. Since the embers are nice and hot, we're gonna we added this corn so you know sweet corn tastes really bomb. And we're gonna use this one. This is normally for fish, but we're gonna I cleaned it already. So we could add the corn the ribs here and we're gonna put them on top of the fire like this. That's why we put the corn over here to cook. So yeah guys. Check it out guys, these are the ribs I was talking about. They're marinated with garlic, onion, a chili paste. Is this azúcar or sal? Um, That's salt. My mom's poking it so all the sauce could get infused inside the ribs so they could be nice and tender and juicy. And we are gonna leave them to marinate for like about an hour. Oh, you and it's super spicy. Yeah, so my mom's talking about that. Since the embers are nice and hot, we applied the sweet corn over here so we wouldn't put it off the waste. Now we're going to add the ribs over here. We're going to start adding the meat. ¿Cómo lo pongo así? A lo largo, sí. Como quieras. O así, porque no va a poder cerrarla así. <laughs> Super spicy. Now we're just gonna cook them from one side and we're gonna cook them from the other time. And I'm from Southern California, a small city.
city called Santa Ana. And I have a few subscribers that are from Santa Ana. <coughs> Check this out. Check this out. You guys are going to see this sizzle underneath over here. You see the sizzle? Let me check out the sizzle. Super mouth watering. It's dripping hot. You see the fire. Definitely food porn. Check it out, guys. We are gonna flip them because we don't want them to burn. We're gonna do this procedure like maybe four, five, four or five times, so like, the meat could cook evenly. So we just flip them. Oh look, look at that little chard. Looking good so far. Looking good. They're getting caramelized. Definitely food porn content. And if you like my channel, subscribe. I subscribe to all the guys, all of you guys who are subscribing back to me. And I comment always. You guys got some great content as well. We are in this industry. We're foodies. And yeah, we got our corn over here. We got some other options too. But check out these ribs. They're going to be spicy. We got to use the corn. Because check it out. Check out this beauty. Can you guys hear that sizzle? Mouse watering content brought to you by Food Galore Mexico. You guys like my channel, subscribe. I'm, I'm all about this food porn action, mouse watering content. And what we're cooking here, you know, we got some ribs marinated with some homemade chili paste, garlic, onions, oregano, salt, some lime. So they're to die for and we got some corn over here you know because we don't want to waste the embers and the charcoal so might as well put some corn yeah you guys can see how it's dripping it's time to flip them because they're a little bit raw that's because you hear that sizzle check it out You guys might say it's burnt, but it's not burnt, it's caramelized. I enjoy the sizzle. Check out the fire. Check it out, the ribs are ready. Plus, we also have some raja, some eggs, and some veggie rice. We got the veggie rice. That's good. Sabe como a, como a tacos de, de, de los de los, los del de pastor, ¿no? Oh, 
Ah, não via pra outra. Pollo, cuando le echan limón, también sabe sabroso enchilado. ¿Ese vaso no era tuyo o era mío ese? No era tan bien mío. Pues para probar, por eso casi más lo hice, si tenemos para probar, para a ver cómo queda. Ahora mi experimento es que comprar una costilla así, ¿no te imaginas? Ralearlo y asarlo. A ver cómo quiere. Puedes a ponerla así en la lumbre, ¿no? No. Pero quiero como como unos troncos. Para ¿De dónde aquí no lo pongo a hacer? Además que tengo yo la idea. Es que la gente no sabe ganar dinero en la herrería. Dice, mira, hágame uno así. Un cierro así. Que tenga como una T. Una T acá abajo por acá. Para ponerle una tortilla. Y acá, pero acá que tengo una base. Para que no se vaya a caer. Así pones una base acá y acá le puedes poner una piedra. Ahí, para que se Eso lo tengo en la cabeza. No saben. No ahorita salen un dibujo. ¿Cómo? 
Vemos a lenta torteira? Porque vamos comer torteira, já que não se quer mais. Pero el fondo dijo que se fue de un adón con fondo, pa. Uh-huh. ¿Eh? Por no Guanajuato, no más fue. No, fue de Guanajuato. Guanajuato es el estado, Colima también es el estado. Ya se fue a Pero más como 10 años, 10 años. ¿Qué pasa con Sí, como a las doce. camina, no sé, el señor no está ahí, yo creo que no sale a caminar. ¿Qué nos se llama circulación de sangre eso? Pero aparte tienen que caminar, ¿no? Cuando se me enfría esto, me empieza a doler. ¿Y ella está frío ahorita o está frío? No, pero a veces no, cuando se me enfría el brazo también me duele. Y cuando ese está bien caliente, pero este lo siento bien frío, frío. Y es cuando me empieza a doler todo el frío. Y los también, como usted día de frío, que las tenía bien frías, pero me dolía. Me duele eso por aquí, las rodillas y eso y eso. Por eso cuando ven a uno un viejito caminando todo ahí, cuarrando, pero no es que pinche viejo no puede, ¿no? Ya. Ahí vive un Juanito en la nueva, pues por la... Está repuesto, pero no camina, ya no puede no. Pero ya tiene que años ya. Ya tiene que ser años ya. Mm-hmm. 